fresh start. Looking forward to it. And you know, I just got in last night and coming in today, just seeing the uh, facility, which is obviously fresh class. Um, you know, all the people, everything's been just great. It's been uh, a very pleasant experience so far. Did you have? I mean, after last season, I mean, I'm sure you maybe were hoping to get moved in some way just to get a new start. But did you have, you know, did it come as a surprise that you were going to yeah. the Rangers? Or? I mean, I mean, I heard like a rumbling about it maybe a few days before it happened and yeah. didn't think too much of it. I, I, I went uh, into the off season with the intentions to train and get ready to kind of have a second first impression with everyone at the Kings organization. And then, uh, you know, when I got dealt... It was pretty exciting to hear the news. Um, you know, my family was excited to closer right. to where I you know, being from Boston. And, um, you know, just kind of that feeling that, uh, you know, someone kind of went out and got you and, and wanted you to be a part of their organization was kind of a good feeling for me. So, I, I mean, I still have those uh, intentions that I went into with the off season, uh, just to kind of show what I'm really made of and, and come in uh, sort of guns blazing to training camp. But... Um, you know, it is exciting for me that I get another a chance to show a, a new group of people, a new organization, a new group of guys in the locker room, uh, you know, what I could. Were you still in L.A. during the draft or were you <clears> back in Boston? No, I was back home, yeah. I was I was back in Boston. And so then you got a call from your agent about the trade? I got a call from uh, Ron Hextall first and then my agent um, right afterwards. And so I went from there. It was... Uh, you know, something unlike anything I've had to deal with before. So it was <laughs> a lot of different things, and it was really exciting. And then I got a call from a bunch of the guys in L.A., which was kind of, you know, it's bittersweet. It stinks, you know, you know, you know, made some good friends, but I'll be friends with those guys for a while, I think. And, um, you know, that's not what it's about anyways. But it was really nice of them. They all, you know, I got a lot of calls from uh, a lot of the guys that have taught me a lot of things from the Manchester coaches and mm -hmm. staff in L.A. and coaches and stuff. So it was you know, it was really good of them. Uh, wish me luck and, and all the best. So that was, you know, the way they handled it was great, too. Talking to, I'm sure you talked to Glenn today, right? Yeah. yeah I mean, what, what's your impression on, you know, what the Rangers saw in you that they really wanted? You know, what kind of role you envisioned, you know, and, and where you might fit in the organization? Well, he said, you know, Coach says sees it all, you know, wide open right now. And uh, Glenn said that, you know, he sees that I can play. He wants me to play hard, finish checks, and mm -hmm. shoot the puck and skate, play smart. That's what he said to me twice uh, just now. And you know, I think those are all things that I can do pretty well. And um, you know, that's what he said. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to back down from anybody. I'm not going to um, roll over for anybody. But you know, hockey comes first for him, and that's fine. Um, I'm really going to try and just bring a lot of intensity and. Kind of earned my way through that. I know I can play the game, and when I try and create offense and play the game the right way through uh, using my body, I think that's probably the, the best bet I have to be successful, and that's usually the way I, I play the best. You know, if I'm playing hard and I'm intense, and if I'm angry, if I'm out there, to, you know, for a purpose, every shift I got to be consistent. Is that what you think you're? I mean, that's what, what, that's what I think was, I, is that what I have to do. I got to be consistent with that. Well, be was, more consistent. Right, right. Yeah. Right. I got to do it all the time. Um, no matter what you do, it's got to, you know, you got to go 100%. You got to be there every, you know, every step of the way. Uh, otherwise, especially in this league, you're going to get exposed. And I learned that, you know, the hard way this, this past year. Um, you know, it wasn't for lack of trying. I think it's just a preparation and it's uh, an experience thing that, you got to kind of go through to realize what you got to do every day, you know, even practice habits and off days, and just to be able to bring it every single day. Do you get a sense from Glenn exactly what the standards are going to be for towards his training camp? <laughs> uh, I've got a sense from just about everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I got told quite a few times <laughs> what I'm looking at here, so. Um, you know, you guys laugh, and you, I think you guys, you guys know <laughs> it's going to be tough. Um, so we'll see. I guess uh, I'll do everything I can this summer in the off season, and I've kind of already been in it for about five or six weeks now, working pretty hard. Um, so you've been skating for five or six weeks. I'm I've been skating for probably four weeks. Okay. I mean, just a few days a week, not 
I haven't skated too hard, but train in, in, LA. in the gym. Or the back Sorry, back in Boston, Boston yeah. Um, and uh, but the skating tests that I've seen, and uh, some of these, the, the long run, the three mile run, something I haven't done before, so I'm going to have to incorporate that. <laughs> the, the, the 45 laps yeah, yesterday. Too. 45 laps. <laughs> See if I can count that high when I'm skating. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, that's a gut check thing, and that's uh, look forward to that. See how uh, see how far you can push yourself, and I can understand why. But uh, I don't know if I'm looking forward to it. But but are you looking forward to having the opportunity to play for a guy who is so known to be so passionate, like to yeah, the fire? I, the I mean, I and... yeah, I I think I uh, I respond well to that. You know, when people kind of challenge me or if they're, you know, intense and like you can see, you know, how much they care. I, I mean, obviously I don't know from experience with Coach, but I, I, uh, I haven't met him yet. Uh, but, you know, that's what I hear, and that's, I mean, that's a good thing. I think I'm, I'm sort of the same way. I'm pretty competitive. I, I kind of get really into things. Uh, you know, it's been my whole life. That's, that's how it's always been. So that's kind of a good thing for me. And if somebody's going to push me and challenge me, but for all the guys, I think it's a good thing. What were your thoughts yesterday when you saw the uh, cry, uh, you know, signed Brash from the Caps? I was in the airport. Yeah. I think uh, I didn't really yeah. think too, too much about okay. it. I think it's a good thing, obviously. You want a guy like that uh, in your lineup. I played with one in L.A. with Raitis and I think that's just, and they have a, for sure they have their purpose, and he's a tough guy, and that's, that's his job, obviously, and he is a tough guy. You know, I know guys are worried about him when they play him and prepare for him, so that's, I mean, I think that's going to be good for this team. How many of the, uh, the guys here do you know? Have you crossed paths with? I mean, I played against a few of them in Hartford, and... <coughs> I don't know too too many of them. I played you know, I played here uh, my first year, my second game up. I played at the Garden and I mean, scored I, a goal. Right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I met Chris Drew. Uh, just you know, he went to BU. I've seen him around the area and, and uh, around the Boston area. I met him a couple times, just uh, small talk. But I don't know too too many guys too well. Um, I've hung out a few times with Matt Gilroy, but. Just through friends of friends, so it's uh, it's going to be exciting meeting a bunch of new guys and get to play with. Them. More for that the Boston area, the BU, yeah, yeah. BC yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I know you said you haven't met him. Is there any connection with Torch just because he's kind of a Boston guy too? Do you think maybe you understand where he's coming from a little bit better? Or? I hope I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't even give me a leg up. I guess yeah. no. <laughs> no, that's uh, yeah. I, I haven't. No, I'm looking forward to it. Bruins fan going up. Growing yeah, up, favorite growing player up, at that was, time? Uh, I love Cam. Uh, Cam and Ray. How did I know that? <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was great. Andy Mogan, that. I used to watch those guys religiously. So. so you go back uh, back up home to work out for the next month or so? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And uh, I guess guys are coming in here starting a couple weeks into August, maybe a week or two into August. And I'll you, probably shoot down too. Do you work out with that? The, there's like an NHL crew that works out each summer in Boston. I think Pody used to be part of that. And yeah, I, I, I haven't been with them. Uh, yeah. That's actually a lot of those guys work out with Mike Boyle, who, who actually trains out of BU. Also, uh, I don't. Okay. No relation. No, no. <laughs> no, he trains the BU guys too, and you know, he does a great job. Obviously, he's got his. Right. Reputation, everyone goes back to him, but uh, no, I got a new trainer. Okay. Work out Foxborough, but yeah, uh, we pass play actually. 